So what is going on everyone, I'm in a boss with you here, welcome to my channel. So today uh, uh, I'm doing how to fix your phone not connecting to your PC problem. I have, I've got my phone here, it's a, a Blackberry and uh, I'm having a problem, uh, I'm having a problem connecting it to my PC. So you see if I um, try connecting my USB to the computer you realize that it makes the sound but uh it does not it does not connect to uh the phone it doesn't doesn't bring if you uh bring it to uh maybe uh come to uh put it in file transfer mode it still makes the sound but it does not do anything so let me tr let me let me test something here with my phone that i'm recording with uh okay when you put in my Okay, you can see that it reads my phone, and my phone here that I'm using to record, it brings transfer files. If I click yes, you're going to realize that uh, it brings the, the, the it recognizes, like, like it reads the drivers of the phone, and I can easily go and access if I want to transfer, because I wanted to transfer a file here to my other phone, but um, it's failing, so... I want to show you how to fix this problem. Uh, okay, we bring back uh, this up. Okay, let's uh, check this out and uh, bring back our BlackBerry. And we uh, let's uh, place it in there. Okay, uh, let me uh, let me check out the password. Okay. Okay, when I uh, when I try to uh, connect into the file mode, it does not show anything. So let's just uh, go. What you do here is you go to the PC. What you do is you go to your PC, go to manage. Oh, the other method is uh, you press the start button and just type in manager. Uh, type in ma uh, yes device manager you go to device manager open uh, after opening you wait for it to load wait for it to load wait for it to load okay what you do is you're going to realize that we have uh, we have an issue here with the portable devices the MTP I think this uh, this is about uh, a mobile phone driver. So what I'm going to do is um, let me check out the password here very quickly. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click then go to update. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use search automatically, but usually that does not fix the problem. It usually does that. It scans online and it searches for the drivers, and uh, it usually doesn't do what you want. So without without wasting of uh, time, let me just cancel this. Let me cancel. Hmm. Uh, task manager. Let me let me let me cancel this in order not to waste a lot of time. Scanning. Show me. Show me. Show me. I need to know. Yes, it's here. Just end this. Yes, I'll end that, okay. So what I do here, let's go back to device manager and uh, we go back to our MTP device, you right click, go to update and uh, you come down here to browser, let's come here to browser, uh, you just come here to uh, browse my computer for mobile driver software and uh, you just come here, let me pick from the list of available drivers on my computer, yes, press next. Uh, let me see, I've missed something. Yes, yes, okay. You pick that, press next. Yes, and it's going to uh, bring you... It it might bring you two options, it might bring you three options, it might bring you... Uh, in my case, it brings two. So let me try the... the um, you, you can see that uh, it only shows me MTP. And uh, let me try the driver that is down here. I double click. Okay, it tells me the Windows has 
successfully updated your drivers so we can see that it's popping up something here so when I try opening we can see that we have uh, we have our our internal storage being uh, recognized here so let me let me try removing it one more time and uh, input the password then I put it back in it makes the sound and it pops up the Windows button now it can show you that the Blackberry is connected and it was not connecting before and since it's not showing what I want to show you that it works I come to file transfer and guess what it brings the internal storage and I can access and transfer my file that I wanted to transfer let me just do it for you I want to copy <clears throat> I want to copy then uh, I want to take it to the uh, yeah, the root folder. Now let me take it to videos. Let me just take it to videos here. Do I have videos? Mm, I I don't have a folder called videos. Okay, let me just paste it here. And there you go. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.